Hello, welcome to the course PH6 B13 E Computational Physics. The contents of today's lecture is taken from Numerical Methods for Scientists and Engineers by K. Shankar Rao. We will continue to discuss topics from Module 2, Numerical Methods in Physics. In today's class, we will discuss about numerical differentiation, which is an extension of the numerical interpolation we learned in the previous class. So, as always, we have n data points, n x and y data points, which we obtained by performing an experiment. So, these are the experimental data, and we do not know the explicit relation between the x and y values. Okay. And our aim is to find the derivative dy by dx at a given x point. Now, the first step is to establish a relation between x and y. And from the previous class, we know this relation is a polynomial equation, y equal to yn of x. And this is an nth degree polynomial. And we know the general expression for uh, yn of x. This is y naught plus p delta y naught plus p into p minus 1 delta square y naught by 2 factorial plus p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 by 3 factorial delta q y naught all the way to n minus 1th difference term where p is x minus x naught by h where x naught is the first x point and x is the x value at which you want to perform the differentiation of. Now, let's expand all these products. So, this is going to be y naught plus p delta y plus p square minus p by 2 delta square y naught plus p cube minus 3p square plus 2p by 6 delta q y naught all the way to the n minus 1 theta. So, this is the polynomial and we need to differentiate this polynomial. Okay. So, First thing, since this is the expression for p, dp by dx is going to be uh, 1 by h because x naught is a constant, derivative of x is going to be 1, so this is 1 by h. Our aim is to find dy by dx and I can write dy by dx as dy by dp multiplied by dp by dx. So here dp, dp cancel, you are left with dy by dx. So, dp by dx we have calculated, this is 1 by h, now we need to calculate dy by dp. So, this is your y and you need to find its derivative, first derivative with respect to p. Okay, so let's do that. So, dp, dy by dp is going to be, first term is y naught with respect to p, this is a constant, so its derivative is going to be 0. And second term is p delta y naught, here delta y naught is a constant derivative of p with respect to p is going to be 1. So, your first term is going to be delta y naught plus here delta square y naught by 2 is a constant and derivative of p square minus p is going to be 2p minus 1. So, you have 2p minus 1 by 2 delta square y naught plus and derivative of this is going to be 3p square minus 6p plus 2 divided by 6. Okay. So, you write all the terms up to the n minus 1th difference term, multiply it with 1 by h which is your dp by dx that gives you dy by dx. So, this is the, the simple equation for derivative at a given x point. Now, this is a, a general uh, expression. Uh, usually, you use it if your given x value is not a tabular point of x. For example, if your x values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and you have the corresponding y values. And if you are asked to find derivative at 1.5, so 1.5 is a non-tabular x point, right? It is not part of the experimental data. In such cases, you can use this general expression. On the other hand, if your x value is one of the tabular points, for example, if I say you want to find the derivative at x equal to 2, okay, so this is a tabular point. In such cases, you will be able to simplify this expression even further. The trick is you set x equal to x naught. 
So you set your given x value as x naught and when you look at the expression for p, p is x minus x naught by h and you set your x as x naught which means p becomes 0. So in this expression all the p terms vanish and you are left with dy by dx at x equal to x naught equal to delta y naught minus delta square y naught by 2 plus delta q y naught by 3. This is the general form of the equation. So the, the next term is going to be minus delta to the power 4 y naught by 4 plus delta to the power 5 y naught by 5 all the way to the n minus 1 to term multiplied by 1 by x. So this is a much simpler equation compared to your previous one. So whenever your x is a tabular point, you can use this expression. Let's do one example problem which makes the concept clearer to you. Determine dy by dx at x equal to 0 0.26 from the following table. So you are given a set of experimental x and y values. You have to find out derivative at x equal to 0 0.26. So first thing first, if you look at the expression, what we need are the, the leading terms and leading differences, which means you have to first calculate the difference table. So let's form the difference table first. You have one, two, three, four, five, five data points, which means you have to find difference terms up to five minus one, four. So you have to find fourth order difference. Term. Okay, so you construct the table, first two columns are x and y values, then you have first difference, second difference, third difference, fourth difference. So we know how to how to find the difference term, so I am not going into the details of any of this. Okay. So this is your difference table. Now we want to perform the differentiation. So you are asked to find the derivative at x equal to 0 0.26. So in the original difference table, this is your x naught, this is your y naught and all these are your leading differences. But look at the, the given x value 0 0.26. This is one of the tabular values, right? And I said the trick is if your x is a tabular value, set x as x naught. So basically you need to fix this as your x naught. Concomitantly, this value becomes your y naught. This will be your first leading difference, second leading difference, third leading difference, etc. So basically, all your previous leading terms and leading differences are no more required here. So what we do, what we are going to do is we will rewrite this table by eliminating all these first diagonal rows. We don't require this anymore. Okay. So by setting x equal to 0 0.26 as x naught, we are going to rewrite this table. So basically we have only this much data points now. So all these data points are eliminated. So in this way, our, our problem is going to get simpler because if you look at the previous table, we had fourth difference term, but now we have only up to third difference term. So you are decreasing the number of terms in your expression. So you have all the available information ready. This is your delta y naught now. This is delta square y naught. This is delta cube y naught. And we know the expression for dy by ds at x equal to x naught. This is delta y naught minus delta y is delta square y naught by 2 plus delta k y naught by 3. We have only up to the third difference. So we have only three terms here multiplied by 1 by h. So substitute for all these parameters. h is the step size which is the difference between two successive x values. So this is going to be 0 0.27 minus 0 0.26 which is 0 0.01. So when you make all the substitution you get 0 0.9483. So dy by dx at x equal to 0 0.26 equal to 0 0.9483. And if you want, you can still use the general formula because now we have used the, the simplified formula by setting x equal to x naught. If you want, you can use the original formula. So what you do is you take your original difference table. So this is your delta y naught. This is the first leading difference, second leading difference, third, fourth, etc. 
okay now using these values you can substitute in this particular equation and find the value of uh, dy by dx at x equal to 0 0.26 so remember here your p is no more a 0 it will have some value to it because now your x is 0 0.26 x naught equal to 0 0.25 right so p is not 0 it will have some value so you substitute all the terms in this equation and find out what is the value of dy by dx and you will find that the value you get using this expression is exactly the same as the value you obtained from this simplified expression so you can do that as an assignment okay you have one more assignment a rocket is launched from the ground. Its velocity at different points in time is tabulated below. Calculate its acceleration after 15 seconds. Okay. So these are the time values 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. You are asked to find the acceleration at 15. So first thing, 15 is not a tabular point. So you cannot use the simplified expression. You have to use the general expression. Now, how do you calculate acceleration? Acceleration is nothing but the first derivative of velocity. So, basically, you have to find out dv by dt at t equal to 15. Okay. So, follow the same procedure and find out the value. The next thing is uh, we want to perform this numerical differentiation using Python programming language. As I said, this is an extension of the numerical interpolation so the program is almost similar to the pro the program of uh, numerical interpolation only towards the end there is some slightly different because if you go through the procedure first thing we have to construct the difference table which is common for interpolation and differentiation then you have to identify all the leading terms leading differences then you have to find the value of step size and p so all these things are common so only the final expression is different for these two methods so almost 80 percentage of the program is similar to your previous program so in that way it will be easy for you to learn this program okay so just like the program for interpolation we are going to do a specific program for five data players so this is what given in your in your guidebook so i'm going to follow the same program just for the sake of access and as i say always uh, these programs are not great programs because their scope is limited you can uh, use this program specifically for five data pairs you cannot use it for four data pairs or six data pairs so if any of you are interested you can write a general program where you can you can input the number of data pairs from the user end and depending on that input you can do the program so that will be the best way of doing this program so i'm not going to teach that you can do that as an extra assignment if you wish so first thing you have to first create a, a list of x and y data so i i do that an empty list i'm initializing here then you need to input the number of data sets as n so here that is 5 which is fixed now i need to input x and y data points one by one which i am going to do using a for loop which has n number of iteration i am going to use the split function in that way i can input x and y values simultaneously as and when i input i append it to the x data y data okay so i have x and y data ready then i need to input the value of x at which i want to perform the differentiation then I need to find the step size which is the difference between x1 and x0 then I find the value of p which is x minus x0 by h so all these are done now I want to find the, the difference table since I have five data points I need to find difference table up to the fourth order so I call that as d1, d2, d3, d4 so this is first difference, second difference, third difference, fourth difference so I'm going to initialize it to a list of zeros okay so all the elements are zeros now now I'm going to modify the elements okay 
So you know how to find the values of first difference, right? Basically, you take the difference between the successive y values. Remember, you will have one value less. So your range function will be from 0 to n minus 1. Then the difference between successive first difference term will give you the second difference d2. Here the number of elements will be one more less. So this is range function from 0 to n minus 2. So all these are similar to your previous program. Okay. Similarly, you calculate d3, which will be from 0 to n minus 3, and d4, which is from 0 to n minus 4. Okay. So you have found out all the difference terms now. Now, straight away you can substitute in the final expression, but just like the previous program for interpolation, if you straight away substitute in the expression, the expression is going to become very, very bulky. So to simplify that, what we are going to do, we are going to first define the coefficients. Okay. Now, if you look at the expression, this is your first term, its coefficient is 1, so you call coefficient C1 as 1. And the second term, the coefficient of delta square y0 is 2p minus 1 by 2, you call that as c2. So c2 equal to 2 into p minus 1 divided by 2. Remember, you cannot write it as 2p because for Python that will be a new variable. You have to write it as 2 into p. Similarly, for the third term, the coefficient is 3p square minus 6p plus 2 by 6. So you write that. 3 into p exponentiation 2, which is p square minus 6 into p plus 2 by 6. Since we are dealing with 5 data pairs, we have the, the fourth difference term also. So in this expression, I haven't done that. But if you follow the derivation, you get the fourth term as 4p cube minus 18p square plus 22p minus 6 by 24 delta to the power 4 y0. So you write down that coefficient as well. Call that as C4. So you have all the coefficients ready now. Now you can directly substitute in the final expression. So the derivative I am going to call as a diff. So diff equal to C1 into delta y0 which is nothing but the first element of D1 or the zeroth element of d1. So c1 into d10 plus c2 into the second leading difference which is d20 plus c3 into third leading difference that is d30 plus c4 into the fourth leading difference which is d40 divided by h. So that will give you the derivative. Then you simply print the, the final answer print the first differential at percent f is percent f where first variable is x at which you are performing the differentiation and the second variable is the the value of the derivative which is your diff variable. So this is a simple program which is very similar to your previous program. So learn this program and also as I said if you want you can improve its scope. So that's for today. And in the next class, we are going to discuss numerical integration. Thank you.